Russell Brand's wife, Laura Gallagher, who is expecting the couple's third child, boasts a number of showbiz friends. The Scottish blogger, 36, deleted her Instagram account before the bombshell Channel 4 Dispatches documentary aired on Saturday in which her husband was accused of rape, sexual assaults and emotional abuse during a seven-year period, which he strongly denies. Laura shares two daughters with a Get Him to the Greek star, 48, and has yet to comment on the allegations, but back in 2016 her pal Fern Cotton said the mum of two was an amazing person. Speaking to the Mirror, Fern revealed she had been giving Laura tips ahead of the birth of her first child, Mabel. The Sitv star, who has been close friends with Laura for years, said, she's my best mate. We've been chatting a lot about motherhood, but she's super ready for it. She's really calm and such an amazing, amazing human being. Laura had started her own side hustle at the time, selling bespoke dungarees, which Fern said she'd bought a pair of for painting. She continued, she's a very clever girl, it's great. Laura also has a famous sister, former Sky Sports presenter, Kirsty Gallagher. After Brand took to YouTube vehemently denying criminal investigations, before the shocking Dispatches documentary aired on Saturday, Kirsty shared his video on her Instagram page, attaching a huge beating heart emoji to it, but this has now been deleted. Russell and Laura got married in 2017 in a lavish ceremony in Henley on Thames. Celebrity guests in attendance included Kirsty, Noel Gallagher, David Baddiel, and Jonathan Ross. The couple's nine month old daughter Mabel was also present, with a source telling The Sun they wanted a very small, personal affair with their daughter Mabel, family, and close friends rather than a circus. After the wedding, Laura had used the Instagram account at The Joy Journal to share her work with her followers, but before her husband was accused of rape and sexual assault in an explosive documentary on Channel 4's Dispatches, which was joined with an investigation with The Times and Sunday Times, she shut it down. The BBC and Channel 4 have said they are urgently investigating after four women made separate allegations of sexual assault while Brand was a presenter on their programs. One source said, the reviews will look at what concerns were raised at the time, and crucially if they were acted on. There is more than a whiff of panic among certain quarters about what the probe could uncover, and if a blind eye was turned to aspects of Russell Brand's behavior. Police also said they are aware of the allegations. Brand is yet to comment on the allegations since the program aired, but did take to YouTube on Saturday afternoon, vehemently denying what he called aggressive attacks. Addressing his millions of followers, he said, I've received two extremely disturbing letters or a letter and an email. One from a mainstream media TV company, one from a newspaper listing a litany of extremely egregious and aggressive attacks, as well as some pretty stupid stuff like community festival should be stopped, that I shouldn't be able to attack mainstream media narratives on this channel. But amidst this litany of astonishing rather broke attacks, often very serious allegations that I absolutely refute. These allegations pertain to the time when I was working in the mainstream, when I was in the newspapers all the time, when I was in the movies. And as I've written about extensively in my books, I was very, very promiscuous. Now, during that time of promiscuity, the relationships I had were absolutely always consensual. I was always transparent about that. Then almost too transparent, and am being transparent about it now as well. And to see that transparency metastasized into something criminal that I absolutely deny makes me question, is there another agenda at play? Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, 
Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads. If you've been a victim of sexual assault, you can access help and resources via www.rapecrisis.org.uk or calling the National Telephone Helpline on 0808 802 9999. Thank you.